In this lesson, we are going to talk about coplanar concurrent force systems. Okay, what is coplanar? Coplanar basically means in the same plane. Okay, so my forces are going to be in the same plane. And what is concurrency? Concurrency tells me that my forces are going to have the line of actions which are intersecting at the same point okay so let us see what this is let us suppose i have a force f1 like this i have a force f2 like this i have a force f3 like this and i see that for all these three forces their line of actions intersects at this point so i say that f1 f2 f3 which are in this case in the same plane which is the plane of the screen are basically a concurrent coplanar system of forces why they are coplanar because they are in the same plane why they are concurrent they are concurrent because their line of actions meet at a single point okay there are two important cases of coplanar forces that we are going to study we are going to study coplanar concurrent force system and we are going to study coplanar parallel force system so in parallel force system my forces are going to be like this okay their line of actions would be parallel okay this would be f1 this would be f2 f3 f4 these are in the same plane as that of the screen but their line of actions are parallel therefore i say these constitute a coplanar parallel force system now we are going to learn about addition of forces okay by parallelogram we know that if i have forces like this f1 and f2 i can simply create my parallelogram having sides as f1 and f2 and when i complete this parallelogram i can find out the resultant and that resultant is simply going to be the addition of f1 and f2 okay so my r which is the resultant is equal to f1 plus f2 all these quantities are vectors and we are talking especially about force okay so this is going to be my r and what is resultant resultant is simply just the addition of all the forces so we also have a law which is called as the triangle law which is just a special case of parallelogram law okay so let us suppose i take this f1 and i put it over here okay i bring this f1 i put it over here so this becomes a triangle right where this is f2 this is f1 and this is the resultant which we already know so my triangle law tells me that if i align my vectors in a head to tail fashion okay then the line joining the first and the last is going to be the resultant okay so if this is f1 this is f2 then this thing is going to be the resultant so we just need to complete this triangle okay and the resultant would be given by the third side of my triangle the sense is important it is in the direction of first towards the direction of second okay from the tail of first to the head of second that is my direction of my resultant 